Well, joining us now live from London to discuss the life and times of Tiger Pataudi, the best-selling English author, Jeffrey Archer, who's been uh, a friend and a fan uh, of, uh, of Pataudi's. So you've said that uh, Mansoor Ali Khan had, has the blood, had the blood of a Maharaja, but was a man for the masses. Could you explain this dichotomy? Well, it's it really not a dichotomy. He was a civilized and decent man. He was capable of, to use Kipling's great phrase, of walking with kings but never losing the common touch. He had that great gift to make, you, make anyone feel uh, they were a friend and an equal. I had known him uh, since his days at Oxford, when he captained Oxford University at cricket, and right through to his death. And, uh, uh, and he never changed. He was always thoroughly decent, civilized man. Would you say that he is among the most courageous men you, you, you know in, in, in his having batted with one eye for so many years of his cricketing career? Well, uh, when I was at Oxford, he lost an eye in a, a car accident. We were all shocked by it. And I think most of us thought that's the end of the great man. We will not see his father in him because, of course, his father was a great player who played for England and Captain India, as you as you could in those days. Um, when he lost his eye, I assumed he'd never play again. Uh, but it's a comment on the man, uh, that losing one eye or the near loss of one eye was not going to be enough to get rid of him. He would get a test place with one eye. Not only did he get a test place, he, if I remember correctly, played 46 times for India captaining them 19 times, scoring six centuries, and of course his famous 203 against England, the highest score he ever scored. He was a formidable cricketer with one eye. I ask you to consider what he might have been like with two eyes. I, I, that, that's, that's something which a lot of us have wondered about. So Jeffrey, he, uh, Patodi was an attacking batsman, uh, something uncharacteristic at the time. Tell us about Pataudi the batsman. Uh, so many generations do I mean, no, we all know of, of what he was, but we've never been fortunate enough to see him play. Tell us about Pataudi the batsman. Well, he was, he was born in the era when uh, one-day games had just started. They were known as the Cavaliers, and they played all sorts of people. But it wasn't official. They didn't play them in the counties, and it had only just begun. And he worked out very quickly that if you'd only got one day, if you'd only got 50 overs, you've got to get on with it. And the interesting thing was, having worked that, he then transferred it to his test cricket. Now, that at the time was almost done. It's common nowadays. I mean, Seawag will happily score as many runs in a one day as he will in a test match or the other way around. It doesn't make, it seem to make any difference to Seawag. But the, the Nawab of Patodi was the first person to actually say, you've got to attack from the first over which for a, a dedicated test player, and don't forget, in those days, 200 runs was a big score on the first day of a test match. Nowadays, everybody gets 300 plus. So that, that, he was the embodiment of that change, and he saw it coming. So, Jeffrey, you've uh, written extensively about uh, Patodi. Uh, perhaps some of your other work has also been, been influenced, in a sense, by, uh, by Tiger Patodi. Tell us uh, how, that's, how that worked out. It's very hard to write a cricket story because, of course, if you are an author you're, and you, you sell worldwide, your biggest market is the United States of America. But the Indians have pressed me for many years about not writing a full sort of Lagan-type story, which I've never done. And, but that little gem of what happened to the Nawab when he was captain of Oxford, I thought many years later it makes such a lovely short story. Of course, part of it isn't true, part of it is true. That's what happens in fiction. But what is true is that man was not going to let his rival tell his grandchildren, I got 99 at Lord's. He was going to let him say, I got a century at Lord's. So, Jeffrey, it's a real pleasure speaking to you. Thank you so much uh, for joining us.